morning, everyone, and welcome back to Meister Tarot. Gosh, you're going to start thinking these these uh, tops are my summer uniform. I must admit, they are awfully comfortable. Um, get up in the morning, take dogs for a walk, come back, do a reading. So they are nice and cool, and and they're great for summer in Australia. So thank you for joining me again today. Oh, there was my little blurble for this morning. Now. Next couple of days, unless something dramatic happens, um, I want to have a look at a few just off off piste topics. A um, few, few things that have piqued my interest due to conversations that I've had uh, with others uh, or things that have popped up on my feed. Um, might have a look at the uh, CRISPR technology coming up. But today um, I want to have a look, and for those that don't know, CRISPR technology is the gene splicing technology, but today I just wanted to have a look at the future of meat production. I know, what an odd topic, but um, I was involved in a discussion in regards to um, meat replacement uh, uh, that's uh, with the soybean um, processed meat that's coming coming out versus um, growing the meat in the labs versus just eat less meat and um, enjoy actual <laughs> real meat. So for those that don't know, I am uh, an omnivore. I do enjoy my meat, but I also do very much enjoy uh, meat-free meals as well. Uh, I personally, and this is no judgment on anybody, I personally don't understand the concept of uh, fake meat because uh, there are so many delicious vegetarian options, dishes. Um, best hamburger I've had was uh, uh, a chickpea, um, uh, sweet potato, um, spices, herbs, etc. patty and a hamburger. So personally, that is me. However, I fully understand uh, that there are others that think differently. So I just wanted to have a look. Now, I'm looking forward to the days, which I don't think will be this lifetime. I think it will be my next lifetime around when I'm on something like the Starship Enterprise and I go to the machine and press the button and say, I'll have a sirloin steak with peppercorn sauce, please. And it'll pop out of the machine and it will be made out of a very nutritious algae substance <laughs> of which it will taste like steak with peppercorn sauce but um, it's actually made out of uh, the algae. Now whether that ever comes to pass or not I don't know but I'm looking forward to finding out. Anyhow so what I want to have a look at is uh, the um, plant-based meats, the lab-based meats, the algae-based meats, and the meat industry in general. So what I might do is I'll start with the meat industry in general. Uh, yes, cows and sheep are a major cause of methane gas release due, due to their uh, burping and uh, passing of wind. Um, however, that is rapidly being bred out of uh, livestock and also if they are fed a certain type of uh, seaweed uh, it reduces the, their um, methane passing to basically nil. So uh, there are um, advances being made. One of the big concerns is in regards to the planet is that how much water and space uh, it takes to produce a kilo of of protein via traditional um, domesticated meat versus um, plant-based meats. But I'll have a look at that in a minute. First of all, I'm going to have a look at the future of traditional domestic meat sources. Chicken, goat, sheep, cow, camel, um, the traditional sources, duck, um, <laughs> llama, you you name it. I'm not talking about the non-traditional sources, which are things like um, uh, crocodile, uh, guinea pig, etc. Excuse me for a minute. I 
I'm usually gorgeous, but this is my day off. <laughs> Thank you, Mum, for that mug. Um, having a lovely peppermint tea in it at the moment. <laughs> So tell me about the future of the meat industry, the traditional domesticated livestock meat industry. Tell me about the future of the traditional domesticated stock. Real understanding that one of the arguments I've heard is that um, domesticated stock have been so mutated over the years, so uh, refined over the years that they cannot survive in the wild. Um, but my counter argument is, is so is everything. Everything that humans eat uh, and grow and eat. Um, has, corn is not the tradition, what corn was uh, 2,000 years ago. Carrots are not the same as what wild carrots. Garlic is not the same as wild garlic. Wheat is definitely not the same. Um, potatoes, beetroot, lettuce, nothing is uh, the same as um, the wild. Everything has been domesticated and will not generally survive out in the wild, whether it be plant or animal. So very quickly, tell me about the future of the domestic meat domesticated meat industry domesticated meat industry oh domesticated meat industry domesticated meat industry tell me about the future i'm using my lightseer's tarot these are my family and friends but my planet earth cards as well so just said that they told me that they wanted to be in on this one <laughs> because it is about uh, the future of the planet as well, but just in general about nature. So tell me about the future of the domesticated meat industry. Tell me about the future of the domesticated meat industry. Right. I took a while of shuffling. Obviously, there was a certain one they wanted to come to the top. It'll be fine. Let's move that back a little bit. Nine of Cups. So this is wish, for, wish fulfillment, celebration. There will still be a domesticated meat industry. Crossed by the Two of Cups. So this is uh, working together towards the future. Uh, manifesting things. Um, so just like um, the livestock have been uh, altered in the past, there, there will continue to be things occurring. Base is the Ten of Swords. So this is uh, can be downfall, but in this particular deck what you've got is New Horizons and you've got the Crows so it's the ending of, a, of something, and tens are the culmination of, of a cycle. Um, so this is the ending of a cycle with the crows flying on towards new horizons, and this person is looking out towards a bright sunlight, a bright future. Clouds overhead, but brightness on the end. Now, in the past, we've got the two of pentacles, so yes, uh, there is decisions to be made. There is juggling to be done. Sorry, I'll just turn that back up again. Oops. Sorry, I'll just hang on for two seconds. What have I done here? Do, 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 do. I may have forgotten to turn my volume up again, which I'm notorious for doing, so I do apologise for that. So we'll keep going. So we've got the Two of, two of Pentacles, which is... Um, Working, so the pentacles are about work. So this is juggling, juggling the move forward. Science is working hard to make it viable. And there are decisions that need to be made. Crowning the, the reading is the page of wands. This is the potential future. So the page of wands is um, uh, ideas are plenty coming to the fore, energetic messengers, 
starting on a new journey. So this is a new journey of um, ideas that are coming forward in regards to this industry, new ways of doing things. The High Priestess, so the immediate future. The High Priestess, she's about uh, intuition and spirituality, engaging with um, an acceptance of what is necessary to be done, um, but engaging the intuition. She, has, she can have secrets to be revealed, but I'm not seeing it in this particular instance. Just looking at the, the inspiration coming down as we're entering this new phase. The external uh, influence is loss and heartbreak. So there is a realisation that, that things need to change, wow. disappointment. This is the external influence is uh, disappointment in how things are currently being done. Now in Australia, we're pretty good. We don't tend to have these uh, massive, uh, we don't keep our animals in barns year round. In fact, they rarely ever see the inside of a barn. Um, we don't have these mass feed lots, except for it may be for the last uh, week or so before they go to market just to beef up that final weight. But they are, our livestock don't live on these feedlots. Um, they tend to live in the wide open plains or the grassy fields, etc. Um, but this is about disappointment about how things are done, I suspect, on the world stage and what is occurring. So internal influence, there will be a pause as things are diff as seen from a different point of view. So these marry up quite beautifully. There will be um, an outrage about how things are being done, the clearing of forests um, and um, the, the production farms, etc. Um, and humanity will see things from a different point of view. Uh, near uh, hopes and fears, um, this is about um, betrayal, lies and betrayal. So this is, the, this is a fear that there will be misinformation or deliberate disinformation coming forwards in regards to the industry. But this is also an uncovering of um, betrayals as well. So this is, co again, combination hope and fear. Future outcome, page of cups, uh, new beginning. Uh, starting youthful vigour, starting on a new journey, um, new ways of doing things. We may see it currently as pigs might fly, but um, it's, it's the revealing of something new coming forward. Having to take a backward step and reassess, nesting, and then moving forward in strength with the Emperor card. Authentic reform, very much authentic reform of the industry. Base of the pack working together towards a common goal, building a solid foundation, moving forward out of troubled waters. Strength, uh, which is um, inner strength, compassionate control, the lion and the, and the lamb, and setting boundaries. And the setting of the boundaries will be because of uh, the exposure of murky practices and decisions will be made. I've got the, the infighting card, the conflict, but then we have diplomacy. Diplomacy, calm, peace, uh, authority, Visionary leadership, <coughs> excuse me for a moment, um, calm balancing, and this is the rebalancing of um, realising uh, cause and effect, actions and consequences, um, and just simply the, um, the rebalancing, 
with integrity. So I see the, the domestic uh, livestock industry. Oh, I need to add insects on there as well. I see the domestic livestock industry will continue uh, in for an overhaul. Thank goodness, much needed. But yes, I see the domestic livestock industry continuing. Now, humanity is becoming aware we need to eat less meat. Um, we, we were never designed <laughs> to eat meat every day of the week. We, our, our genetic makeup comes from um, uh, occasional meat eating, um, occasional fish, lot, basically a plant and vegetable based diet, not processed foods. Um, our genetic makeup is really not designed to eat meat every day of the week. So the domestic industry will continue, but there will be a shift in thinking. Authentic reform in A, how it's produced, and B, how it's consumed, which is good. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Must be a bit early in the morning for me. Okay. Tell me about the future of plant-based meat. I'll just bring you forward. Get my microphone out of shot. Hopefully the volume's good. Tell me about the future of plant-based meat. Future of plant-based meat. Future of plant-based meat. Soy meat. Whoops. Tell me about the future of plant-based meat. I don't see any reason why all these different versions can't reside side by side and some days you choose to eat one and some days you choose to eat another and some days you choose to eat none. But tell me about the future of plant-based meats. What concerns me with the plant-based meats is the process that they actually go through to come out looking like meat. They're, they're very, very highly processed with the addition of um, some chemicals, uh, binding agents, etc., to so that they have the texture, um, and that's the bit that concerns me is the processing itself. Don't mind a bit of tofu. <laughs> okay, tell me about the future of plant-based meats. Future of plant-based meats. Future of plant-based meats. New beginning. Okay, so there's something new that's going to come out in regards to uh, plant-based meats. Now, quite quite apt because this is the uh, pentacles are also grounding in the earth, um, but this is very much a new start. So there's going to be something new that comes out in regards to plant-based meats. Oh, we've got this Seven of Swords. Um, so this is about um, exposing of uh, disinformation and misinformation in regards to the plant-based meats, but another pentacle. So this is our, our grounding. Uh, there will be movement forward. So what, what will be found is that the current version of plant-based meats are not the whole truth has not been told about um, about them, about the production, the, the growing, the um, harvesting, the uh, the processing. Uh, so the whole truth is not being told, but it will come out. And what will happen is this will cause reform um, that will be slow and steady and diligent and reliable reliable reform that will end up in um, uh, respecting both the um, grounding and the um, spirituality and physical grounding. This is about moderation. Everything should be eaten in moderation. Um, um, but this is about a, re a rebalancing, a rebalancing. 
and then we have the King of Wands. So this is an inspired figure bringing forward strength. So yes, there is a good future for plant-based meats um, or plant-based protein, perhaps I should call it, plant-based protein that will find its find its balance and bring forward an, an inspired strength. But in the meantime, the current version is not really what they're making it out to be not cracked up to what they what the claims of uh, greenness is okay let's have a look at lab grown protein so i won't call it meat i'll just call it protein lab grown protein what is the future of lab grown protein it's where they take a uh, cell or series of cells from an actual domesticated meat source um, and then they put it in a solution and they basically grow a, grow a steak from it. Like they do at the moment where they grow skin, uh, like they grow, um, if they're wanting to find out what ails you, they can take a, a swab and then they grow whatever bacteria or virus so that it can be identified. It's the same sort of um, procedure, same sort of um, philosophy behind it. What is the future of lab-grown meat? I know this is a really weird topic to be pulling cards on, but hey, you know, you know me. What is the future for lab-grown meat? What is the future for lab-grown meat? <clears throat> what is the future for lab-grown meat? disappointment. All the cups are upright. There is possibility. There is great possibility. But at this stage, it will be disappointing. Uh, it will be burdens. It will be burdensome to make. Um, and they will literally just pack up their bags and, and abandon it as, as other things come forward. Yeah, this is all about no, there's no future for lab, lab grown meats as I'm seeing it now. Uh, this is the uh, Ten of Swords, which uh, can mean complete and utter downfall, but uh, in this particular deck, it is uh, the crows flying away um, as reality strikes, as the truth strikes, um, and walking away and looking at new horizons, culmination, culmination and looking towards distance horizons. Interesting. Okay, so there are secrets that will be revealed about this <clears throat> that we don't know yet and walking away. So <laughs> I don't think that could be much clearer. We've got the disappointment. It just doesn't pan out. Uh, it is a burdensome process. They're just going to pack up their bags and leave it. Looking at alternatives. Uh, the secrets, there are secrets that may never be revealed about why it didn't work um, and then walking away. I don't know whether it's an ethical reason or a, or a just it just is not a viable <clears throat> method of production. But no, lab-grown meats, nope. Okay, algae-grown, algae Algae, our meat, protein, <laughs> protein already is made from algae, but to represent <coughs> meat. Now, algae, un uh, unlike soybeans, which is the current plant-based meat, algae can be <coughs> grown very quickly in a uh, multi-level facility. So it doesn't take up a lot of ground space. The water can be recycled, um, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So tell me about the future of algae-based meats. Algae-based meats. Sounding very Star Trek at the moment. Tell me about the future of algae-based meats. Got the disappointment card again. Okay. Will they be able to 
I'm getting they're struggling to get. So this is short term, short term being the next decade or two. They are struggling to be able to convert it into the texture is what it's telling me. And yes, <laughs> popped out. Yes, saying yes, you're right. To get it to be palatable. But tell me about the future of algae-based meats. Tell me about the future of algae-based meats. Acknowledging in the short term there will be issues, but tell me about the future of algae-based meats. Tell me about the future of algae-based meats. Um, again, uh, looking over distant horizons, so it is a long way off. But there will be success. This is a culmination of a, of a cycle. Emotionally, algae-based meats will be acceptable, where lab-based meats, I suspect, won't be. Um, yeah, so I'm seeing that as a positive. Uh, this is about retreat, nesting, taking care of oneself, but in the end, success. So, and then the emperor. So this is this is all powerful, and the queen of wands, um, confident, uh, self-aware, excitement, powerful message. So what I'm getting there, base of the pack, we've got the pausing, seeing things from different point of view, steady movement forward and you saw how much I shuffled the ace of wands comes out again the beginning of a new idea and then we've got the page the page of swords which look at all those light bulbs it's something that will come via the youth of today as they um, research and learn and work together and then we will have choices to be made Okay, so what I'm seeing there is short term, not so much, um, but looking at distant, looking at distant horizons, there is uh, celebration and um, excitement about this. However, there will be setbacks before there is success. Okay. And last but not least, we're up to 20, 28 minutes already. Goodness me, where does the time go? Um, insects as a source of major source of protein. Will insects become accepted as a major source of protein? Will insects be accepted, become accepted as a major source of protein? Again, it's something that can be bred in a really small area um, the amount of protein produced per um, feed that goes into them is is voluminous just like algae for the amount of nutrients that goes into produce algae what they actually produce is many times more than what goes in which is unlike traditional uh, domesticated meat sources but tell me what insects become insects become an acceptable source of I know in many countries they already are but generally on the world stage will insects become an acceptable source of protein a commonplace source of protein will insects become a commonplace source of protein will insects become commonplace source of protein. Oh, interesting. Okay. This is the uh, betrayal, bet abuse of power, sabotage. Okay, what I'm getting, what I'm getting at here is the, the truth of insect protein is going to take a lot of getting over for the traditional 
westernised diet, um, difficult decision to be made in regards to it. Um, you've got contemplation in regards to the truth. Now, in all honesty, it is a highly nutritious uh, source of protein. Uh, this is about um, perception, but also respect, bringing forward the truth, but also sitting and um, just letting the truth sink in and justice, which is um, cons actions and consequences. So, um, oh, there will be a tower moment before we come to the rebalancing and the star. And when it does come, it will come very quickly. And it may take... Oh, goodness, we've got so many major arcana popping up here. It's basically taking notice of this outcome. Um, it will um, require input from the major systems, but it is, um, it is endings and beginnings. So that actually was a, a completely major arcana off the bottom. So what we've got here is um, anxiety, um, mental anxiety, anguish, um, feeling of betrayal, feeling of sabotage. Do you have the light in the background here? But there's this a real hurdle to get over in regards to the insects. Difficult decisions will have to be made into the future of if I say the realm, I mean as in uh, the earth, as in the countryside, difficult decisions will have to be made as we are forced to um, accept our actions and consequences. And then we've got from the actions and consequences, there will be a breaking down of the old way of thinking of the old systems as things come back into balance on the world stage. You've got the uh, Star of Hope, which is about res restoration and respite. So it's giving the planet an opportunity to restore and have a breather. When it does happen, it'll happen very quickly. It will happen with the assistance of the institutions, such as government, uh, health, um, a lot of the uh, ingrained um, social institutions coming to the fore in regards to this. And therefore, it does mean that um, uh, it's a new chapter, endings and beginnings. So, yes, I do actually see insects will become a major source of protein. I don't see them as being uh, actually as a meat substitute, as the others are trying to do. Uh, they will be more in, um, incorporated into uh, flour, uh, flour products, um, grain products, rice products, etc., uh, as a means to get the, the nutrition and the protein into, into the populace where it's required. Okay, that was an interesting sidetrack. I hope you enjoyed it. A little bit of an investigation there. Um, so take care and um, look after yourselves in for an interesting future. And uh, hopefully we'll all be around to experience it. It'll be very exciting. Any questions, pop them below. Um, thank you for joining me and I shall catch you later. Bye-bye.